everyone. We just thought we'd just check in um, just to let you see what we're up to over the next few days. And um, we're just going on a little road trip up to Northumberland. Um, we've called um, on the way up to visit my lovely aunties and uncle in Sacriston, which is near Durham. Um, I was born up that way, so it was lovely to spend some time with them. We're now on our way to um, Beadnell. Um, where are we staying, David? So, uh, Northumberland County Council has uh, made a few motorhome stops in some of their car parks. Up, car parks. We're staying at Beadnell Bay. We've, you've got to book it online, so we've booked a slot for tonight. It's twelve pounds from six pm till eight am. I know it sounds quite a lot, but just about all the other places around. Uh, Northumberland have got no overnight parking and come with fines these days so I mean I'm sure there are ones you can find but we're booked in at Beadnell Bay and it's right on the beach next to the sand dunes and I think there's toilets there so and it stopped raining so that's really good so, raining. so we'll check in and um, let you have a look and see what it's like later okay bye, bye. And here we are, Beadnell Bay Car Park. And the sea is just over that hill. A little footpath to it. A little coffee shop, ice cream van, toilets. Don't know if they're open all night or not. We'll investigate and report back. So that's what your £12 a night gets you. Uh, beach access, toilets. Coffee van. Happy dog. And we're all ready to have a bit of tea ourselves. So, beer one, paid on the app on the way up. Yeah, we? we're all right with it. Beadnell Bay. And the tide's in, I've seen the tide much further out than this. 
Uh, quite nice, family having a barbecue already on the beach. What time is it? Oh, seven. seven. Half seven. seven What's talking with that seaweed? He's got a little bit of it. Got a fetish for seaweed. Yeah. He likes to chew a bit of seaweed and then he'll be sick all night because it's too salty for him. So yeah, lovely stroll on this beautiful beach. <coughs> and we're making the most of it because the weather forecast for the next few days is not particularly brilliant. But yeah, have a look at this. So a few people have asked me recently why we do all this, what, what do we do in this van and where do we go and why, why, do we, <laughs> why do we choose to do this, why do we do it Bernie? Because we broke up this and it's just cost us a bit of parking um, and we go, you know, on an evening we can enjoy this as well and if the weather's bad we can just move on and we can find somewhere else and yeah, it's just the freedom freedom of it. Yeah. Just, I'm speaking quietly because there's ground nesting birds all around and the National Trust have got signs up. It's very quiet here. There's very few dog walkers, thankfully. We've already seen just loads of species of birds that we've never seen before and just regret not having brought the binoculars out of the van. A couple of swans there. A few Canadian geese over there. I don't think you'll pick them up on camera, but... Yeah, there's this old common old pigeon <laughs> on the bridge. And the crane, we've seen a crane, we've seen a white, some kind of white, <sighs> kind of like a flamingo, but I don't want to say flamingo, it was a bit smaller, tiny. And this is where we are, if you're interested, we're at National Trust spot called Newton Links, and it's part of the England coast footpath um, and if you walk from here at Beadnell Bay you can walk all the way down to uh, Craster it's about three and a half mile we can walk along the coast yeah it's beautiful So we're now in a little tiny fishing village of Booma or Bulma. I'm not quite sure how to pronounce it. I think it's Booma. B-O-U-L-M-E-R. 
uh, a little free car park with this lovely beach the tides out at the moment lots of dog walkers um, there's a pub we've been here before um, the pub at that time didn't allow dogs in for some strange reason um, and of course we'll only be here during day because we met with these signs just about everywhere you go in Northumberland now um, which is a shame because I don't understand We've had um, a lovely day, we've driven through um, Al well we went to Almouth, we had a little wander around Almouth and we had a, a cup of coffee and a bit of a park up there for, for a bit and that was lovely and then um, we drove through Amble which was very pretty as well and we're just getting a little bit disappointed with Northumbrian Count Northumberland is it or Northumbria Council, Northumbria Council. Um, yeah just with the lack of car cups and, and the price that they're charging for even for the designated car parks that they've got where they've got a few motorhome stays it just seems a little bit I mean we stayed last night at um, I can't remember what was Beedno. it called. Beedno. And it was £12 we paid to park overnight. And even though we paid, there was still other, you know, another motorhome that just turned up and obviously hadn't booked a space. And then, because we had to vacate that, that only took us to 8 o'clock in the morning and we wanted to spend a bit more time on the beach and go for a walk, we had to pay another £6 just to stay until lunchtime. And that's nearly the price of a campsite, isn't it? Yeah. And there's a real shortage of campsites up here and um, quite a few pop-up campsites that came from, um, oh gosh, we'll never get under there. It says two metres, that doesn't look like two metres to me. Um, quite a few pop-up campsites that came out of the pandemic, but they don't have facilities, so you're going to pay £25 for a field. Um, some of them just have a portal loo and no showers it's it's quite poor really so if anyone watching this from Northumberland um, County Council City Council you just need to sharpen up your acts and either get more campsites or payable park ups whatever they might be but certainly putting people like us off coming back up here on a regular basis because there's very very few places to park and we, we, we have watched a few um, other YouTubers and they've kind of said similar things and we thought, oh, well, you know, I'm sure we'll find some places, it'll be fine. Um, but it isn't. But it isn't. <laughs> it's just really bad. That's your toilet, so. So, um, yeah, so that's what we're finding so far. I just wanted to explain what happened next. So we were due to stay in Northumberland or out in the van anyway for another three or four days. But the weather forecast, as you've seen, was uh, was horrendous. Torrential rain for two or three days. And it's no fun when you're in a van with a dog. Um, so we decided to try and pay on the app to stay at Amble Braid Car Park. Have a look around Amble, go buy some food, maybe have a beer. Um, when we went on the app, as we'd done the night before at Beadnell, it would only get let us get so far. It says if the space is red, it's already booked. It says if the space is green, it's available. But actually, when you book on the day, it's not red or green, it's grey. And it let me get so far, and then it wouldn't let me go any further. So we decided, bear in mind we'd been around four or five car parks that day, and every single one said no overnight stay. We decided we'd pay the £12 and we'd just do what we'd done at Beadnell. Computer says no, um, we couldn't get past the section where we wanted to book at that particular car park and it didn't say it was booked, it just wouldn't let us proceed. So we decided to stay anyway because there was nowhere else within driving distance, easy driving distance, apart from Morrison's car park. I must say as well, this was a huge car park at Amble Braid 
and the rest of the car park during the day is free. There's no ticket machine to pay, so we couldn't have even paid and displayed and got a ticket. Um, so, so we came back at six to make sure we weren't taking up anyone else's space. There was only one other camper van there of the six bays that were available. So we stayed overnight and at around 6.30, there was a sound of a van very close to our van. And as I looked out of the back, it was parking services from uh, Northumberland uh, County Council taking photographs of the van. Uh, so which I promptly got out and explained, I'm really glad you're here because I did try and pay and your app wouldn't let me pay. Um, but the, you know, the reaction from the parking enforcement officer was was quite ridiculous, I felt, really. You know, if you don't pay, you don't stay kind of attitude. Computer says no. And I said, well, I've got all intentions of paying. There's the means to pay is not there. And the explanation as to why I can't pay is not there either. Um, he promptly started to film me on his body cam, um, which I requested a copy of from the council. And I will be taking it further in a formal complaint. Um, you know, we, we, in all honesty, we'd gone to that place to pay the £12 to stay overnight in an empty car park, which is free anyway during the day. It was quite a ridiculous scenario when he turned around to me and said, uh, you need to move your van, your vehicle within two minutes or I'll issue you with a fixed penalty notice. Um, to which I said, OK, I'll move the van. Uh, I'm just going to move it there, which was like five yards along the way in this empty car park. And so that's what I did. Um, and, you know, he's gone on his way. I've decided that I will, probably will not stay in Northumberland again as a result of that. As beautiful as it is, it is not van friendly at all. And the attitude of the people there, we're trying to spend money, keep them in employment, is uh, <laughs> it's, it's not a good one. So we'll see what happens. Um, I didn't get a fixed penalty notice, but that, that whole threat of move your van in two minutes, otherwise you will, I... You know, don't really need that. So it's a sad end to what could have been a really lovely weekend and we would have been otherwise advocating on behalf of Northumberland rather than warning people in vans and motorhomes just don't go there because, the, you know, if the app worked, it'd be fine. The app didn't work and it didn't explain things enough. Mm -hmm.